how are you guys doing? Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to learn about the continent of North America. North America is a continent of contrast. Among the 23 independent countries and over a dozen of dependent territories, you will find small islands to huge land masses from north to south. The geography ranges from ice-covered tundra to high mountain peaks to beautiful sunny beaches to driest deserts. The climate also varies wildly from freezing cold to sweltering hot. Vegetation and wildlife adapt and thrive in every climate across the continent. You will find so many different cultures and variations of places and ways people live. It doesn't matter where you live, you will love North America. North America is the third largest continent with over 24 million square kilometers and covers 5% of the total Earth surface, 16.5% of the land. America is named after an Italian explorer, Amerigo Vespucci. He brought forth a revolutionary concept that the lands Christopher Columbus discovered was not part of West Indies, but a separate continent. North America is divided into three regions, Northern America, Central America, and the Caribbean. The continent of North America is divided into three regions, Northern America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Northern America is all the area above Mexico, which include three independent countries, Canada, United States, Mexico, and Greenland, which is part of the Kingdom of Denmark. Central America is all the area south of Mexico, but that are part of the main continent of North America. So seven countries, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras, El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, and Panama. Caribbean islands. Caribbean island area is considered all the islands that are in the Caribbean Sea and surrounding area. Altogether, there is 13 independent countries and 18 territories with varying power. With over 7,000 islands, Caribbean is further divided into Greater Antilles and Lesser Antilles and then the Lesser Antilles is divided further into Leeward Island and Windward Island. We will make a separate video about the Caribbean countries. We will learn some fascinating facts, many spectacular geographical features and natural phenomena in North America. Canada is the largest country in North America and second largest country in the world with a 9.9 with .9 million square kilometers. Canada also has the longest coastline in the world. Please watch Canada episode to know more about Canada. Greenland is the biggest non-continental island in the world with over 2.1 million square kilometers. The population of Greenland is only 56,000. So it makes the world lowest popula population density in the world. Greenland is also home to second largest ice sheet. It covers 82% of Greenland. There are no landlocked countries in North America. Every single country in North America has access to the ocean. Canada and the United States of America have the longest international border in the world with 8,893 kilometers. 
the United States of America or USA is the most populous country in North America with 330 million people. The largest metropolis in North America is Mexico City with the population of over 21 million people. The Great Lakes contain the planet's largest area of fresh water. Lake Superior, located between USA and Canada, is the largest freshwater lake in the world. Missouri River in USA is the longest river in North America and it is 3,767 kilometers long. The Missouri River joins with the Mississippi River and forms one of the largest river systems in the world. Olopino Falls in Hawaii is North America's tallest waterfall. This thin ribbon of water drops 900 meters down. Most recognizable and largest waterfall in North America by average flow rate is Niagara Falls. It is actually three falls, Bridal Veil Fall, American Fall, and Horseshoe Fall, or Canadian Fall. Canada's Bay of Fundy has the greatest tidal range in the world. The difference between the high and the low tide can reach up to 16 meters. That's the height of a three-story building. Mount Denali, formerly called Mount McKinley in Alaska, is the tallest mountain in North America with a whooping height of 6,190 meters. The Rocky Mountains is the longest mountain range in the world with almost 5,000 kilometers in length along the western part of North America from Alaska to Mexico. Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming holds the record for the largest concentration of geysers. It is home to more than 300 geysers, two-thirds of the planet's total. Geyser is a rare kind of hot spring that is under pressure erupts and shootings just jets of water and stream into the air. It is also home to over 10,000 hot springs, steam vents, and mud parts. A few years ago, Divers discovered a connection between the two underwater caves in Mexico. And this discovery makes SAC Acton Cave System the longest underwater cave system in the world with 347 kilometers in length. Mammoth Cave in Kentucky has been recognized as the world longest above ground cave system with more than 650 kilometers in passageway. The Grand Canyon in North Arizona is the world longest canyon. Its depth can reach up to 1,600 meters. The Copper Canyon in northwestern Mexico is actually a series of six canyons. The combined length of the Copper Canyon is four times the length of a Grand Canyon. In some places, it is even deeper than the Grand Canyon. Yuma, Arizona is the sunniest place in the world where sunshine beams down 90% of the year. Death Valley National Park in the Mojave Desert, California get very little rainfall per year. It is so dry that the average annual rainfall couldn't even fill a small teacup. The highest temperature recorded ever there was 56.7 degrees Celsius or 134.1 degrees Fahrenheit. It was recorded on July 10, 1913. It's in the part of the area called Furnace Creek in the same park. 
Badwater Basin in Death Valley National Park is the lowest point in North America at 86 meters below sea level. The climate of North America varies from extreme cold to scorching hot. This map shows the average daily maximum temperature recorded in June. Can you see how the temperature is changing? This Copenhagen climate classification shows how the climate is changing throughout the continent. It is not simple as the further away you move from the North Pole, the warmer it gets, is it? Plant life and wildlife are a greater indication of the climatic regions, geography, and geology. In North America, you can find every single one of Earth's major biomes. These include tundra, four different kinds of forests, grasslands, and deserts. The tundra is a polar biome located in Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. In the tundra, it is extremely cold. The ground is permanently frozen. However, you can still find shrubs, grasses, and mosses in the coastal area where ice sheet doesn't cover the ground in summer, and they are all well adapted to the permafrost and the extreme climate of the area. Polar bears, arctic foxes, and muskok call the arctic home. During short summer, migratory birds, ducks, geese, shorebirds, gulls, terns, songbirds, owls, and so many others show up in the arctic. Notable marine species include the narwhal, the Greenland shark, and the ringed seal. You may see flowering plants like arctic poppy, whitlow grass, and snow queen. Taiga, or also called boreal coniferous forest, is south of tundra and covers more than half of Canada. Boreal coniferous forest is dominated by pine, spruce, and fir. As you move further south, you may see broadleaf tree like white birch and balsam poplar. You will also see some beautiful flowers like astaces, crucifers and beautiful orchids. Billions of birds live in or visit boreal forest including these hummingbirds, these cute and colorful kingfishers, and these determined woodpeckers. So many mammals live in the boreal forest too, like these wood bison, many antlers like these elk, coyotes, moose, and deers all coexist in the boreal forest, or it's called taiga. Insects play crucial part of boreal food webs and play important ecological role as pollinators and decomposers. There are numerous species like beetles, moth, and caterpillars can be found in boreal forest. Temperate rainforest are home to a rich diversity of species, many of which are found nowhere else in the world. It covers Pacific coast of Alaska, Yukon, and British Columbia, and west coast of United States. The landscape is complicated with islands and fajards, and many species depend on both the forest and the ocean. You will find the tallest and oldest red western cedar and redwood trees. Understory of the forest floor is where much of the biodiversity is found in temperate rainforest. Shade-loving shrubs like 
specific rhododendron, blackberries, salmon berries can be found in here. You will also find the luscious green ferns like Oregon oxtail or sword fern or lady fern. You will also find mosses cover the fallen log and many variety of mushrooms cover them. It's beautiful. Salmons are one of the primary species of the rainforest. You will also see spirit bears, grizzly bears and black bears. Deciduous forests are dominated by broadleaf tree. These spread over 26 states from Florida up to New England and southern Canada and extend as far as Texas and Minnesota. The leaf change color and follow from the tree in the autumn and grow back in the spring. They put on a beautiful show every autumn since the temperatures are much warmer in the su summer and the summers are longer there is a great diversity of life in this area. You will find so many trees in this area such as oak, chestnut, maple and hickory. You will find birds like turkeys, chickadees, hawk, cardinal and songbirds in this area. Mammals in the area include white-tailed deer, raccoon, possum, porcupine, beaver, bobcat and red fox. Grassland also known as the prairies are ideal for agriculture. Alberta, Saskatchewan, South Manitoba and US Southwest are covered in grassland. This area is beautiful, flat and perfect for growing grains like wheat, oats and rye. You can also find some beautiful wildflowers including coracus, violets, prairie onions, buttercups and asters. Some of the notable prairie wildlife include black-tailed prairie dog, sweet fox, and burrowing owl. Deserts are the driest biomes or geoclimatic areas. You will find them in western United States and northern and central Mexico. It is extremely hot and very dry. Living conditions are hostile to plants and animals. But you can still find some amazing vegetation such as Mohawa yucca, burrow weed and Joshua tree. You will find some very brave animals such as big brown bat, big horn sheep, jack rabbits and rattlesnakes. Tropical rainforests have the greatest biodiversity. Tropical rainforest covers most of Central America and all of the Caribbean islands. This area is dominated by broadleaf tree that form a dense upper canopy. You will find them some stronger trees like mahogany and teak as well as softer trees like fern and banana. Some of the endangered wildlife include orangutan, these playful gorillas, these fast running jaguars, these talking Puerto Rican parrots, these beautiful sharp skinned hawk, insects, amphibian and reptile all thrive in rain, tropical rainforest. We have learned all major biomes or geoclimatic regions of North America, tundra, taiga, grassland, desert, tropical rainforest, temperate rainforest and temperate deciduous 
first. North American history is very fascinating with a lot of twist and turn. Discovery, development, war, independence, freedom, and a bit more war. Late in the Ice Age, between 30,000 and 10,000 years ago, human crossed the Bering Land Bridge from Europe into Alaska. At the time, this part was covered in ice. Over the following thousand years, they migrated across the continent. They developed wide range of language, custom, and civilization. As the ice age ended and the climate grew warmer, they started doing farm and some became highly skilled farmers. A tribe in Mexico cultivated corn and squash. They raised turkey, llamas and guinea pigs for food and they hunted deer and bison. By about 4,000 years ago, they matured as a society and developed state, each governing thousands of people. They set up extensive trade road across the continent. Approximately 1,000 years ago, Viking from Iceland, led by Leafy Erikson, came to North America. They left after the summer, but they didn't colonize North America. But they were the first European to come to North America. If you want to see their house and how they lived, check out the Canadian video. European invasion of North America began with Christopher Columbus's first voyage to the New World in 1492. Five years later, Italian explorer John Cabalt landed in the North America on behalf of England. Then it's French turn. In 1541, French explorer Jacques Cartier climbed Gulf of St. Lawrence for France. Europeans brought many diseases with them, including smallpox and measles. These unfamiliar diseases spread among the natives quickly because they didn't have any immunization to that. They wiped out the population of many native cities. In the late 18th and 19th century, colonizing Americas and cultivating new farmland was the top priority for Europeans. They often fought and killed Native Americans for their land. Natives could not win against the European men with a modern weapon. Europeans gathered the native up and moved them into reservation and forced them to live as a peasant and work as a labor. Spain began to build a North American empire in the Caribbean using islands such as Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Hispanola as bases. The English colonized United States of America and most of Canada. French colonized some of the Caribbean islands and parts of Canada. European brought people from Africa to work in their plantation. They were considered property, not people, and treated extremely poorly. As they grew and developed in the new world of North America and South America, the independence movement sprang up across the continents, leading to founding a modern countries. 13 British colonies on the northern Atlantic coast declared independence in 1776 and became the United States of America. Democratic institution developed gradually and peacefully for the most part developed in Canada. The first representative government was established in 1758. If you want to learn more about Canadian history, please check out the 
Canada episode. New Spain, a territory that stretched from southern U.S. to Central America, declared independence in 1810 and became the first Mexican empire. Abolition of slavery was a slow process. It started in early 1800 and it was a struggle and a fight. United States launched an invasion of Canada in June of 1812 and it wasn't successful. President Abraham Lincoln used his role as a commander and in chief to issue an emancipation proclamation. Finally, slaves were freed by the Union soldiers in 1865. In 1867, Dominion of Canada included four provinces, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, and Ontario. North American demography is diverse as it comes. It has many different kind of people, religion, and language. North America is the fourth largest populous continent with a population of 592 million people. North America is ethnically diverse. Its main three groups are Caucasian, Mestizos, African American. Caucasian usually refers to people who are European origins with light skin pigmentation. Mestizo are mixed people mainly Spanish father and an indigenous mother. African Americans are descendant from African origin with dark brown skin. There is a significant minority of indigenous American and Asian and many other group of people now living in North America. English, Spanish and French are dominant language in North America. 85% of North American believe in religion. This map shows the percentage of the population who believes in religion. The darker blue are the higher percentage of the population. Christianity is the largest religion in United States, Canada and Mexico. According to a 2012 survey, 77% of the population considered themselves Christians. Other minority religions with a significant number of people include Jews, Buddhists, Hindus and Muslims. Current North American culture reflect ethnic patterns and influence of European colonists, indigenous people and African American. You can notice more British and African cultures in the USA and some part of English-speaking Canada. Western United States and Alberta, Canada shares a cowboy culture. French Canadians have strong ties with French culture. Greenland shares some cultural ties with indigenous people of Canada, but you will also find some Danish culture there. Mexican and Central American share a common past as former French colonies as well as the indigenous people that lived in there. In the Caribbean, you can experience Spanish, indigenous and African cultures all melted together. The economy of North America is comprised of more than 579 million people, 23 independent countries, and 15 dependent territories. Canada, Mexico, and the United States have significant and multifaceted economic systems. The United States of America 
has the largest economy of any country in the world. North American economic sectors are agriculture, manufacturing, service, investment banking, and tourism. North American economy is well defined and structured with many trade blocks, including United States, Mexico, Canada Agreement, the Caribbean Community, and the Central American Free Trade Agreement. Thank you for watching. Please smash the like button and subscribe so I could get a cookie.